<clears throat> Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate my method for measuring cartridge oval length. Um, I do this with a homemade device which I call a ranging rod and this accurately measures uh, the distance from the bolt face to the bullet tip with the bullet barely starting to make contact with the rifling. This is the device. It features a length of quarter inch brass rod with two collars which can be which slide up and down and can be locked on the rod. Right, so the rod gets inserted down the barrel from the muzzle end until it makes contact with the bolt face and the first collar is then pushed up against the muzzle and locked in place. The bullet of choice is then inserted into the chamber so it just makes contact with the rifling and the rod is then once again inserted down the barrel until it then makes contact with the bullet tip and this time the second collar is pushed against the muzzle and locked in place. With the rod withdrawn the distance between the two collars then corresponds to the distance from the bolt face to the tip of the bullet. I will now show you how this device works. So the rod is carefully inserted into the muzzle and pushed all the way up making sure the collars are, are loose until it contacts the bolt face. At this point I just want to say that the uh, firing pin must be cocked so it does not protrude from the front of the bolt face otherwise this will give you a false reading when the rod actually touches the protruding firing pin rather than the bolt face itself. Now both collars are now pushed up towards the muzzle like so and the nearest to the end collar is locked in place like so and the rod is then with partially withdrawn or withdrawn all the way and now what we need to do is insert our chosen bullet into the breech now my chosen bullet in this case a Sierra 257 caliber 90 grain Blitz King has been inserted into the chamber and is just being held against the uh, lands of the rifling with a piece of wooden dowel. So the wooden dowel is just pushing on the back of the bullet. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reinsert the ranging rod uh, down the bore from the muzzle end until it contacts the tip of the bullet. And then I shall lock the second collar in place and then the distance between the two collars will give us the distance from the bolt face to the tip of the bullet. Gently goes, in it goes. And I shall push it in gently because what I don't want to do is use pressure to dislodge the bullet. There we go, that has now stopped. And I shall loosen the first collar, bring it up to the muzzle, still just holding it with a very gentle pressure in place and then lock that second collar and there you have it the distance now between there and there will correspond with the distance from the bolt face to the bullet tip okay Oh, I shall now measure the distance between the two collars with my digital caliper. Here we go. And that says 2.908. I'll just do it again. Yep, yeah, 2.908. And for those who want to be a little bit more particular, 
Okay. Now, using the very same bullet we used to check the cartridge overall length in the chamber, we're going to make up a dummy round to the dimension that we attain, which, as you remember, is 2.908. So here goes. I've likely seated the bullet to start off with, and I shall be using the uh, micrometer top on the Sinclair micrometer top to get the bullet length correct. So at the moment it measures 2.969. So 2.90969 minus 2.908 is 61 thou. So the bullet has to be seated 61 thou deeper. So what I shall do, I shall go 60 thou on the micrometer seating head. So one complete revolution is 50 plus 5 plus 5. So measure that now, and that should be 2.908. And it's actually 2.918. So I need to take another ten thousandths off. So I'll move that five, five. And there we go. 2.9085. Okay, if you can see that, 2.9085. Spot on. So that now is your dummy round, which, if you set your dies against that, will seat your bullet to a depth so that the OGIF is just engaging onto the rifle with zero contact. So it's not in the rifling and it's not away from the rifling. And then what you'll do, you can use your comparator set up on your caliper to check that all your other rounds are the same. And remember this. The comparator is not a measuring device, it is a device for comparing one round to another to make sure that they are the same. Thank you.